I like it. No. I love it. The skimpy armor, the fan surface, scraps of cloth or metal that somehow make a character more lewd than if they were just nude. The impracticality of it all. But don't mistake my words. I hate how it's discriminatory. Sexualize everyone. Not just the women, but the men, too. Give me my 2Bs and A2s, but along with them, give me my Adams and Eves. Give me my... I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. Give me more of him, please, along with the bullets. Give me my Stalfons and my Ibukis. Give me my slutty men and women in media. Or, if you're not going to make them men slutty, don't make the women slutty either. We love both men and women in actually protective armor here, along with the clothes that cover them up. Give me my Lancelots, my Gawains, my old men of mountains, my gatekeepers, my black knights, however the hell you pronounce his name, my Merlins, my Oberons, my Landling Wang. Along with my stage one pen dragons, my stage one mordreds, my stage one bargets, my greys. I get it. Not everyone should be sexualized in a piece of media. But don't discriminate who should and should not be sexualized based on merely their gender. The people want, nay, deserve both the regular Xander and summer Xander. The people deserve both regular Astolfo and Bunny Astolfo. The people deserve to have both the regular Pendragon and Bunny Pendragon. The people deserve to have both Stage 1 and Stage 3 versions of Barghess. I know a lot of my examples come from Fate Grand Order, a game notorious for making historical figures sexy women but I've also stated sexy men in, from there too. So my offer to you, Type Moon, who are obviously watching this, give me, nay, the people, a sexy Oberon, 